my tech crowd here. This is going to be a little introduction to my um, workshop allocation. what it looks like right now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to turn the space into something a little bit more useful. Okay, now look inside. We have a little bit more protection against um, other noises. And um, there's a few things that we need to do to get this place organized. That's the put up. So. Maybe the kit for this, this um, word tropic for hot came with the option to put up the shelves. Put up the shelf. Oops. And um, then we need to um, put up one of these hangers. So hangers so you can actually hang, hang things on these hooks and the Press on that, and uh, as you can see, this is metal construction. So it's not, if you drill through this, then you drill through the actual walls. So I want to mount these things without uh, destroying it. So what I was thinking that um, there's two walls. So I'm gonna have thinking of saying one well, of these up here. some of these hooks where you can actually put things into and it'll cross but you know, I'll put these up and, and cool up. And um, that'll be the same on the other side also. And um, as you can see you can't like, drill into here. And um, so what I'll be thinking is I'm gonna make some um, design some specific brackets so I can actually put them on here. Screw or on the on the edges of this and the, uh, just screw that into it and that will be supported up there and it'll be clear from the walls because I think I want to insulate I'm probably going to insulate the walls a little bit late so I don't want to actually have anything in. and then I'm going to make a special bracket also here to come up here so the first thing will be to um, Design those brackets that we can use to screw on. Working on that. So this will approximately be the form of the uh, of the bracket, the side profile. So I want to start gathering up the measurements and finalize the design. Okay. So now we have the prototype. Let's see how it's going to fit. Sit there. It's a prototype. Screw around. So then that will screw on there, and it's going to be three of them. And then it'll be the same on the other side. So we can hang stuff. Hang stuff on these hooks. And then these can be also the exact position. It can be adjusted. Should be just fine. Okay. Now we have um, 
the adopters or the hangers. Three of them. And we can see if we can actually hang this up. That's so strange, this heads on. Ah, and there we go. Typical. I wonder where the screw is. Long time. This fit in there. 
Yes. So now we have the other bracket. Yeah, so it's just stuck on there. And actually, I think one could probably use. Well, I use this as generic holder, so there's a specific spacing and hold size, a screw size, so that I can actually print stuff like a hook or something or whatever. But anyway, this is, and I also made it prepared, prepared that I could. Um, screw is also in but I don't think it's gonna be necessary because it actually slots in quite hard actually I don't think it's gonna be needed let's try to get something to slot in tools that could um, actually hang on. So it's just to make more of those and um, that will be just fine. Okay, now we have the um, bracket prototype. So that's what it looks like. It's a bit too bulky. I need to redesign it a bit. But anyway, here we have one bolt will get inserted in here, or actually two. So then the shelf will connect on that. And then these hooks that are in there, which I thought would probably never work, 
but actually, even if there's a little bit of fuzz and cold that can be adjusted, it actually works very well. And this is a security bolt. And we'll go through one of these holes. Put that through there. To try and screw it in. I think I'm going to make this hole here just one millimeter larger than the easier to slot it in. Should screw in. Let's see if we can get that to work. Well, that's this is for extra security if those you know, start to fail. The um, plastic, even though I do think those plastic hooks they're like uh, three times two millimeters, or no, 2.8 millimeters. No, I think it was more because this was four, so I made them a little bit under four. So it's like a plastic bit of now, it's hard to think that they were gone. They, it will probably be enough not to have that. And then the okay. shell. Ow! Oh. Of course, this will have to be lifted down. It'll be the way it's supposed to be there, and then the shelf will go on it like that, bolted through. I need to make some small design modifications. Do it. It should be fine. Oh, that's the shell pop. Quite sturdy, and I actually didn't use the safety bolts, so I left them out. Could actually add them, but I mean, I think that's even with the um, just these three plastic holders, they, um, plastic hooks formed in here that seems to really hold it in place very well. So the next one we'll go up there. Uh, I haven't noticed that with any of the other prints. Just in case it's in the way. And then it was also very difficult to get on. I think I'll just put it up anyway and put a safety bolt. Oh, it's so strange. Oh, I don't understand that. Strange. So, just to put it up with the safety bolts instead, that'll hold. Just put the shelf on afterwards. There's no way to get the safety belt on with, with the uh, bracket on the shelf. So, I'll just try and lift up the shelf. See how that goes. Well, actually, it went in faster than I thought. <laughs> Learn something from putting that one. Oh, these bolts have a little bit weird thread, so it's not a, it's 
standard M6. So I have to use these that came with the furniture that I took apart. Oh, locking, unlocking us. <laughs> um, 3D printing fail. This saw, uh, I think what's happening is the wall gets so hot that it's uh, the standard PLA isn't is melting. So uh, yeah, thankfully they didn't fall off the wall, so I was able to like take all the stuff away. Without, yeah, I didn't have a big crash in here, so um, that's good. But um, definitely the hooks aren't any good. Um, so I'm probably I'm going to take these down and then I can probably film it what they look like once I've taken them off and then I'll have to print it in another material than, than standard PLA. I actually have have a, it's a bit stupid. I actually have a good material. And use that instead. Okay, real good example of. Um, heat effect on PLA. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good experiment. Let's see this make sure it actually gets into the video. Oh, can you even see it? See how twisted that is? Oh, it's melted. Oh, completely deformed. So that's otherwise... Okay, then it, um, also the... Um, One of the hooks is deformed. Ah, so it was still holding on the bottom hooks. And then it deformed. Because uh, this one gave way and then it got pulled out. Started working on the panels for the roof. You could order panels for this, but then they were only uh, two centimeters thick. And then they, you, you just pulled out those, flipped these things out, and they put the panels. Uh, but I wanted to have a little bit thicker insulation, so I'm going for uh, three and five. This is standard styrofoam. So I made some. Uh, Adapter, so you can actually just hammer in the flap and not use it. Just to hook it on, put the star on up there and hook that up on. And then it pushes the um, star on the roof. And I've done the side now, it's just, it's just work. As you see now, the workshop is partially full with big pieces of starve. I've also been working on the new supports for the shelf. So this is um, printed in ASA. So now this is the last one. And it's actually quite hard to separate from the printed bed. And this takes it one step at a time. It'll come off. So I'm just going to make that's three centimeter insulation. So now I'm going to um, make the adapters for the you know, five millimeter insulation. No, five millimeter. Sorry, but tired. Centimeter. Three centimeter, three centimeter, and five centimeter. No. The first prototype I made for the five centimeter one. The printed work so it actually broke. So now I actually don't have anything to show. And, uh, document that when I get the bits made. Okay. Well, that's the awesome part. So, uh, so these are more likely to split along the layer lines than on PLA. They um, can go up to 100 Celsius before it starts to have any temperature effects. 
and we'll see if they are a little bit more tolerable than the last PLA pots. Okay, making some progress on the roof panel. So my um, way of flipping it up just seems to be working okay so far. Nothing's come crashing down, they won't come crashing down, they're actually good. The insulation bits are jammed in there anyway a little bit, so, but um, yeah, it's okay, so I'm just going to continue. So, that's the roof done. Uh, probably isn't the nicest construction ever seen by mankind. Mm -hmm. Worst of the cold out of for the purposes that I have this week. And also the acoustics are much better. And I think I could actually film in here. The echoes pretty much gone. And I'm going to be insulating the walls also. That'll be the next step. The noise is disturbing my educational studio. Anyway, the idea is to put this kind of stuff on, on the walls and I uh, printed out some parts as examples. So, one another part to go around the corner, just so like go in there, and another stuff on that can go in there. And then the idea is this here can be glued to the wall. And then kind of a small pack. And then I made a kind of a corner support. So you can put four, four pieces. And then I just made a simple one, similar to the round one. One side and the other. And then the idea being that one can glue this to the wall. I was thinking also making a plate. Like just a flat one, so the one can actually glue the plate to that and then glue the plate onto the wall. Then, of course, the other idea would be to glue this directly on the wall, but I don't know how that will hold. It's not a big enough, I won't do that. And then the thing is that the, these could hold them better in place. But we'll see, it's a bit of an experiment. Temporarily, I'm going to stop looking at the, looking at the ports for the wall. Okay, so I've been working on the, it's still pretty chaotic, I've been working on the walls now. And, um, as you see, this is the, you know, the plastic bits that I made that I'm using. I haven't, haven't been videoing the whole process because it's just repetitive, it's just a cut, cut the bits and um, put the holders on them with a bit of glue on the back against the walls. So anyway, this is just the corner bit left, there's some H bits there, and, um, go in back there, glue together, and, uh, and then I decided to put um, 5 centimeter insulation on the back and three centimeters on the wall because it fits nicely into the recess here. I'm going to actually put up some extra holding on the top, on this edge here, to hold it, hold it against the wall. Well, not once I've all, all of them. And then I'm probably gonna put some extra insulation up in these gaps, uh, where there's no insulation. So anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd cut the video on this one because the, Quite a lot of things have happened, so the rest is to um, yeah finish the corner, you know, and then put the the table, the shelf, and stuff back where it belongs. Now I'm moving the shelf from the one that I had the problem with with, uh, with the holders. I'm moving to the other 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 side. So, uh, so I'll probably be making some kind of a follow-up mini video. 
But anyway, if you like this video, consider subscribing. Um, if somebody's doing a similar, similar type of a setup, then um, inform them about it. And then uh, take into account the issue I had with the PLA. Actually, I do have an issue with these. I'm a little bit old. Obviously, getting too hot because one of them twisted. I mean, it's um, when I measured the outside, the surface temperature on this wall against the metal, that was 60. I got the highest measurement I got was 64, 65 Celsius. So, I mean, that's enough to um, start deforming. But I think these will be okay because they're actually glued onto the other side and, and there's no weight on these. The star the styrofoam doesn't weigh anything, they're not carrying it. And when I put the board on the wall, um, then the board is going to be screwed onto the top list and then it'll be sitting on the floor. So it won't actually be any strain on these, they don't need, these don't need to hold the wall. But the acoustics I think are, are much better now. Um, so I think I can actually do videos in here though. And then the thing is we have a very active road behind us. So when I've actually finished this last section here, then we'll, and we have the doors closed, then it'll be very quiet from the perspective of not getting very much uh, you know, noise from the court. Oh, now I'm rambling on. Anyway, a cool project. It has been every day when I've been doing this installation, pretty much 35 degrees in here. <laughs> Celsius. So that's 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 for uh, our region. That's really hot. So it's it's mm, yeah. One's really been thinking of one's own sound. But anyway, see you in the next one.